Hey YouTube, this is DBG33K, and today I'm going to show you a little side-by-side -side comparison between the Lumia 520, the Nokia Lumia 635, as well as Microsoft's Lumia 640. If you've seen some of my previous videos, I have um, already done a little look at the 520. It was a budget phone from, I believe, 2013. Um, today I'm also going to be looking at the Lumia 635, which is the budget phone from 2014, as well as Microsoft's new phone, the Lumia 640. So we're going to start by looking at the size of each, specifically the thickness of each. Uh, first we have the Nokia Lumia 520. The 520 measures at 9.9 millimeters thick at its thickest point, and the Lumia 635 measures in at 9.2 millimeters thick. So there is a comparison for you. As you can tell, the 520 has a much more rounded uh, back to it, which fits pretty nice in the hand, whereas the 635 has a bit more of a jarring slant and then a flat back. Personally, I really like this. Um, I like the very flatness of it and, um, I don't know, some would think it's kind of bar of soap-like. Um, personally, I like that. I like the fact that it's very flat. Round is, is okay, but I prefer flat to round. So that's that at 9.2 millimeters thick. Um, and then the 640 is the thinnest of all three of these at 8.8 .8 millimeters thick. So go ahead and compare the, oops, compare the 635 to the 640. Very nice. Sorry about that. Next, we'll look at the weight of each of these devices. The 520 weighs in at 124 grams. The Lumia 635 is 134 grams. And the Lumia 630 is the heaviest of the bunch at 145 grams. As you can tell, all these devices are at different screen sizes. Uh, the 520 is a 4 inch screen. Uh, it is a 480p screen, so that measures in at 235 pixels per inch. The Lumia 635 is a four and a half inch screen. Now it's also a 480p screen, um, so it's going to measure in at a lower pixels per inch, uh, and that being 221 pixels per inch compared to the 235 pixels per inch on the Lumia 520. Now the Lumia 640 is actually a five inch screen and that is a full 720p screen uh, so that's going to measure in at 294 pixels per inch. Now this has never really been much of an issue for Windows Phone. Um, it's always been very good with scaling so even the lowest resolution still looks very good uh, in its operating system even on larger screens. Obviously it's going to look better on a higher resolution screen like the 640 has um, or like other phones like the, uh, I believe HTC has a Windows phone that's a 1080p screen um, and I know that some of the rumored Windows 10 mobile phones coming out this fall will have 1080p screens and if rumors are to be believed up to 4k screens so obviously the higher resolution the sharper the image is going to be that said even at the lower resolutions Windows phone still looks pretty great. Next we'll look at the storage and RAM in each of these devices the Lumia 520 has 8GB of onboard storage with 512MB of RAM, as does the Lumia 635. Now it is still a budget phone, but it's a little bit odd, um, having come out in mid-2014, to still only have 512MB of RAM. What makes it even more odd is that this is the AT&T device. I've read online that the T-Mobile and Sprint versions of this phone, of the 635, actually come in one gigabyte RAM variants. It's possible that this has to do with Windows 10 Mobile coming out soon, and Windows 10 Mobile is going to run better, obviously, on a one gigabyte of RAM device, more so than a 512 megabyte, but regardless, a little bit disappointing. Then we go on to the Lumia 640, which has eight gigabytes of onboard storage, and one gigabyte of RAM. 
And again, all of these have eight gigabytes of onboard storage. That really isn't much space. Uh, you know, even when you just first boot on these devices for the first time, once it gets the full operating system installed, there's just over three gigabytes of usable storage. Now, luckily, gone are the days of Windows Phone without expandable memory. So all of these devices, you can pop the backs off and there are micro SD slots, the 635 and the 640, accepting micro SD sizes up to 128 gigabytes. I believe the 520 only takes up to 64 gigabytes. So even though the onboard storage is pretty abysmal, very, very small amount, you can still upgrade those with uh, micro SD cards. Next, we'll talk about the system chip sets on each of these devices. The Lumia 520 has a Snapdragon S4 processor, that's one gigahertz dual core. The 635 has a Snapdragon 400 clocking in at 1.2 gigahertz quad core. Now what's interesting is that the 635, which again is a budget handset from 2014, and the 640, which is a somewhat higher, higher range, but it's still not really a top range um, compared to most phones, most uh, modern phones, has the same chipset as the 635. So the 635 and the 640 both share the same chipset being a Snapdragon 400 1.2 gigahertz processor quad core. Next, we'll talk about the cameras on each of these devices. Uh, on the 520, we have a five megapixel camera with no flash, and there is no front-facing camera. On the 635, we have once again a five megapixel camera with no flash, and again, no front-facing camera. On the 640, around back, we have an 8 megapixel camera with flash. And around the front, you can see there, we do have a camera, front-facing front camera, at 1 megapixel. So there you go, YouTube. That was a side-by-side -side look at the Lumia 520 the Lumia 635, and the new Lumia 640. Here are a few samples of pictures taken from each of the devices. I have a few pictures taken outside, as well as a few pictures taken inside. As you can probably tell, both of these devices take decent to pretty good shots. The 635, having only a 5 megapixel camera, obviously fares a bit worse than the 8 megapixel shooter of the Lumia 640. The 640's imaging contains more lifelike color, whereas the 635's camera can sometimes wash out, overbrighten, or oversaturate the color. Lower megapixel count also leads to blurrier images and an increase in graininess, especially in pictures with lesser lighting. Thanks for watching, YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, please leave in the comments why you thought so. And if you like my other videos, please subscribe. Talk to you later.